Jamie has a question here. Uh, we are thinking of trying to get ARM working with MDT Light Touch. Are we crazy? <laughs> oh, I think you're muted. I, I think you're right. Now, I, I wouldn't say crazy, but it currently does not work one bit. Um, I can show a little bit because I did play around with it uh, a little bit earlier. But you can, with a, a, a good bit of will, uh, you can shoehorn in an ARM image into the workbench. Uh, it is that flexible, but you have to edit the operating system XML file manually. The challenge is that there is no boot image creation for ARM available. It's only 32-bit and 64-bit WinPE. And even if you create your own uh, uh, boot image, you know, as, as you do, and smack in all the ARM components or whatever that you need. I think I have a different one for ARM specifically. Yeah, this one uh, that I was using to create an ARM one. And I added in the components, including the new 64-bit emulator. Uh, the, the, the MDT binaries, they did not like that one bit. Uh, so the sequence engine did not run correctly. So I, I doubt it. Uh, and you definitely would have to rewrite a lot of the MDT scripts because they would definitely not look for <laughs> ARM64 components. Uh, I would recommend looking into uh, something else for ARM deployments. Um, uh, Tupan Software that I work for part-time, uh, we are working on a deployment solution that will support ARM. Uh, David Segura and Gary Block, they just got, or just like a two months back, they, they got to use the cloud to work with ARM deployments. Uh, so if you just need to apply an image uh, quickly, uh, uh, yeah, that, I would recommend starting there. Uh, another option is, of course, use Config Manager. Config Manager, starting with 2403, has full support for ARM. So you can add in your ARM images uh, just fine. Uh, create your ARM sequences or sequences that deploy ARM. The sequence engine supports ARM through emulation. It's still a 64-bit sequence. Um, I did put up a blog post, um, whatever that was. Um, uh, yeah, the step-by-step -step guide here on how to deploy ARM using Config Manager. Uh, I have an older one, how to do a Jurassic style with just a PowerShell script. That works also, even though not very elegant, but it does do the job. Um, let's see, there was a comment on that script is available on GitHub. No, but I know a guy. <laughs> uh, this was the script and well here is my github or some of it and, um, I have an arm deployment folder why not uh, That's a good attitude to have right there. Why not? Yeah, the script is up on GitHub. <laughs> fresh. Fresh, yeah, super fresh. I, I will put the link in the, in the comments below. Um, awesome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 